Hey, Cameron McKenzie here at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I just wanted to show you how to put together a very quick sequence that will set the inferred reading order for Adobe Acrobat in your UiPath applications. I'm going to start this off by creating a new process, and I'll call it infer reading order. And as I create that, I'm actually going to go into the infer reading order project, the folder that gets created for this project. It's right there. And I'm just going to paste a PDF file in there because I need to work with a PDF file for this example in order to go through the process of setting the, the inferred reading order. So I just want to show you how you would go about doing that. So, and this is a, a reusable piece of code that you can integrate into your other applications. Essentially what you want to do is you want to first start the process. So you want to start the process of running a PDF file. And I just put that PDF file to the root of the project. So I can reference it directly right there just by providing its name in the start process. And then the next thing you want to do is attach the PDF window to this process. Now to do that, what you have to do is you kind of have to make sure you've got both the PDF and this tool on the page at the same time, and then click indicate window on screen and then just click on the PDF. Now, by the way, when I do that, I also like to go in here and just deselect the actual A1A001 or the name of the file, because this hard codes that into the, the program and you, you want to be able to reuse this. So just make sure you've done that. And so now we've kind of created a little script that is going to load a PDF file into Adobe automatically. And what I want to do is I want to change the reading order. And I have highlighted the PDF file there so it's in focus and you can't see it. But on my keyboard, I'm clicking Control, Shift and 5. And you notice it brings up this change reading order of current document. And it brings up this list here. I can actually change what's selected in this list by clicking the letters T or I, right? T takes you to tag, I takes you to referred. And then when I've made that change, if I click Alt S, it will trigger the hotkey for the start button. And so that essentially commits your change. So I'll click Alt S there and the window close and it's committed. So how do you actually bring that into your application? How do you actually make that happen? Well, here are the set of steps that you would use. You just go and add the hotkeys. And so you say send hotkey. And as I mentioned, to bring up that window, it's control, shift, and five. Let me just double check that. <laughs> okay, control, shift, and five. So there's the window, control, shift, and five. Yep, that brings it up. That brings the window up. Now, if you wanna set it to the inferred reading order, you then have to send the letter I. And then when you're done, you end up having to send that hotkey, which is just Alt and then the letter S to save. And as we saw before, as we saw before, um, the letter S, Alt S just closes that window. Okay, and so that's the, the basic function that you want to create that will do that. You can reuse that in all of your different programs, but let's actually just see that running. So I'm gonna close my PDF reader. I'm gonna say run, brings up the window, sets the inferred reading order, closes it, and then it's done. And so now if you wanted to do some more processing of that PDF file and, and going through the tags and extracting data from it, it's all going to be set up for you because you're now using the inferred reading order. And there you go. That's uh, all there is to it. Just setting up the inferred reading order in Adobe through a workflow in UiPath. If you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We've got lots of great enterprise software tutorials. Follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.